Hello guys, in this video we'll have a demo project, Laravel demo project about business process management. And this video will be a longer one, it will consist of such sections. First I will talk about what business process management actually is so you would understand. Then I will show the original Upwork description of the task of the project. Then I will show you how project works that we've created. Then I will show you the basis how it was created with Quick Admin Panel first. Like 50% of the project was generated automatically. And then we'll dive into PHP Storm. And I will show you different parts of controllers, observers, notifications, and how it is all structured. And also we'll show you a database schema of all of that. So if you are interested in specific section one or a few that I've mentioned, in the description you will find the links to the exact minute and second. And for those who are ready to spend half an hour of me discussing the project, let's dive in. And one more notice, as usual, the project is available for free on GitHub. The repository link is on the screen and also will be in the description of the video. And before we dive into coding, the actual project that we created, let's discuss what business process management is, or sometimes it is called workflow management. It's a general term, not about Laravel and not about PHP, but it's implemented in different languages in a different way. And it sounds really complex, but in reality, it's pretty easy to understand. I found a tool with examples, use cases of business processes. So any process, for example, purchase request is when someone requests something and then that request should come through a few people, like a chain of people who need to approve, reject, and depending on the answers or changes with the request, it comes to one person or another person. So in this case, for example, notification to Slack, then someone purchase request uh, approves or denies. If it's approved, then it's this chain, so send email with approval or send email with rejection. So that's one example. Another example is loan request, which will be exactly the example of our demo project. So approval of a loan. So loan is requested for the money. Then there is a manager for approval. Then there is big boss for approval if it's loan for a bigger amount. And this is the condition amount is less or more of 50k. Not sure if it's seen on the screen. But anyway, any business process, and these are really simple examples. In reality, it could be really, really difficult, much more complex. But for simple examples, it's just a process of request or a document, which should go through a few people, a few chains, to be approved or rejected or processed or something like that. And there are a lot of software solutions to create those diagrams and then the software and then the database. But we try to recreate that in Laravel with a simple project description taken from Upwork, by the way, and I will show you that in a minute. And we also used our quick admin panel to start the project. And this is a PDF of uh, original job description from Upwork, as I said. I've downloaded the PDF. It's a loan application portal. And it is a pretty long document, but I will summarize it to you. There is a person who registers and then makes a request for the loan. Then there's an administrator who gets the loan and then needs the approval of two people, potentially. One would be business analyst and another will be CFO of the company. And both of them should approve that loan. Then it gets back to the admin who actually clicks the actual approval. And then the actual approval gets to the original loan author, the person who requests the loan. And everything is done with notifications via email. And let me show you how our project works. So this is an example, login or register form. So for example, I register as a new user, want to receive a loan, I register. I use the form filler to fill in the data. I see the list of my loan applications and I can start a new one. For simplicity, we just added loan amount and description of whatever, like what do you need the money for or anything like that. So we fill that with form filler, for example, 66,000, some description and we click save. It is saved and the status is processing. Interesting thing with statuses that some of the statuses should be seen by anyone in the system, but some of the statuses are kind of hidden, they are temporary, they are internal. Loan receivers shouldn't see the status that is approved by analyst or approved by CFO, they just see two statuses, processing or approved or rejected, well, three status. Next phase is informing the administrator. So whenever someone fills in the loan registration form, loan application form, this email is fired to the admin. And when admin hits see application, they should go to login form, or if they are logged in, if the session is still active in Laravel, they see the details of the loan application. 
status is processing and what they can do is delete the application if it's totally crap or spam or something or next step of the process that business process management is sent to analyst and there could be a few analysts in the system this is chosen by default the first one and we send that to analyst okay the admin sees the table of all the loan applications with my testing ones so loan application has been sent for analysis and this is the email that analyst gets so request has been sent to you and whenever they click see application they land on the same page details of the loan but with different buttons submit analysis is the only thing that analyst can do they add a comment approve for example and they have two buttons approve or reject let's approve and then the status is analyst approved and also every analyst or every cfo not admin they see only the requests that are assigned to them so there's kind of a multi-tenancy involved and also they see the statuses like analyst approved but the original loan requester see processing so as i see they don't see internal statuses next we get back to administrator the email is to administrator again that analyst is approved with a comment and then see application i'm logged in as admin again and now first thing we see the logs of that application so what was changed and when with comment approved and then the next phase of the process is sent to cfo and also we need to choose the user cfo send that to him and then cfo gets the email sees application submits analysis i approve to approve then again email is to admin that everything is approved and final step is the email to admin where they see the application see the logs and then they can click edit and change the actual status from processing to whatever they feel like approved then it's save and then the email is fired to the original loan applicant so this is the email to the original applicant with dummy email then they need to log in if the session is inactive and they see the loan with status approved so that's the shiny scenario it took quite a long to demo but i want you to understand what is the process management and how complex it can be before we dive into the code and now let's dive into the code let's begin with database schema this is the database schema simplified schema of the application so i removed all the system tables like migrations like password resets and some OAuth stuff so this is the main thing this is loan applications table with two fields about the application so loan amount and description and then everything else is about statuses so status id foreign key to statuses and then analyst id and cfo id and created by id they are all users users roles and permissions system is here in the bottom left corner it is generated by our quick admin panel and i will show you that in a minute but probably the most difficult decision in business process management is how to structure the changes so whenever someone approves or rejects or writes the comments or anything happens with that loan application what should it save into the database and we have two structures for this audit logs is a quick admin panel module but you can use any laravel package for this there are a few well-known packages for auditing for saving any changes with eloquent model so in this table we will have actually i can show you that in the database audit logs so we save what was changed loan application with id3 and what were the changes so properties new values of all the fields and by that we can calculate the actual logs for the history to show and also any comment additionally when submitting the review by any user role it lands here into this table so this is the database structure and we will create the first part the basis of the project with our quick admin panel you can consider that advertisement for our project but i'm just saving my own time and saving your time you can do that manually or you can use our tool and to save you even more time in this video i will show you the basics how quick admin panel works and what you can generate with that and if you need more guidance on that feel free to email me personally so you will create new panel business process management with default settings and then crud by crud it's called crud we will create our database tables and their management by default in every panel there is a user management out of the box 
with two roles, admin and user. And this is exactly what we need, administrator and simple user who would register the loan. And then we need two more roles, which we will add after the downloading the code. So you can consider Quick Admin Panel a scaffolding tool to generate the database structure and the forms, but then you download the code and proceed locally with customizing the code, adding new features and all of that stuff. So what we need to do inside of Quick Admin Panel, create CRUDs. CRUD is a database table and a menu item. So for now we need statuses, for example. Statuses is the name and Quick Admin Panel may suggest the fields from your previous panels. And this is exactly what happened to me, but I won't use it this time. I will add the field manually with the database column name, which would be required. We save and we save the CRUD. While it's generating the files, we can add more CRUDs and our second CRUD will be loan application. Model name is singular. Again, it's suggesting some fields, but I will skip it for now. Loan applications is plural on menu title and menu items. And then we can specify, for example, field type money, loan amount. Loan amount is required. Then we need description. For description, we choose field type text area. Description. And then you can choose whether to use Siki Editor for fancy text editor. And then you can add relationships to who actually created that. So it belongs to relationship, owner, for example, and you choose the model users as belongs to relationship parent model. You click save, then you can add more relationship, for example, relationship to analyst, who is the analyst to the same table of users. And then field by field, you create your CRUDs, you save the CRUDs, and then CRUD by CRUD, you create the full structure of your project. And we did exactly that for this demo project and then continued working locally, which I will show you that in a minute. But for you to understand what Quick Admin Panel does, you can click View Code and see what it generates. So loan application, Laravel model, status Laravel model, controllers, and I haven't written any line of code yet, but we have already controllers with permissions, with, with the views, also routes, for example, we can open routes web, for example, and we have already route resources for everything and for mass delete there is a separate route. So quite a lot of stuff done for us and we can download that and continue working with Laravel code. So let's go to that phase and I will open PHP Storm and show you the actual code changes we made to transform this quick admin panel generated panel to the actual business process management that I've shown earlier. If we get back to the view of our loan application system, here's the admin view, and this is mostly controlled by loan application controller. Here it is, I've opened it in PHP Storm, and nothing really fancy on default methods. The CRUD methods index create some permission management, then we load the applications and load the view. Create is just the view form, then we store the application, then in edit application it's a bit trickier because we need to we need to allow to edit the application only when it's in certain statuses. So that's why we check whether status ID not in six or seven. We can allow to edit only if it's approved or rejected by both analyst and CFO. Update is just updating. Show is a bit more complicated, but that logic, the complicated logic is inside of audit log service. So the controller method is pretty simple and pretty short, but to generate the logs, there is a separate service of audit log service. And as I said before, it's a mix from two sources, audit logs, table, and also comments. There should be somewhere here. Yep, here. So for changes, we may add a comment if there is one. Back to controller, two methods for deleting the application. One destroy default by Laravel and then mass destroy if you want to destroy a few at once. Then a method for show the send application to CFO or to analyst. So this comes from admin. Then this is a form and this is the submit result, so actual sending. And then in each of those methods, we check what is the current status, where do we send that application and who can access that. Then there is a form to analyze that. So submit analysis by analyst or CFO and also submitting that form. And that's it. So these are all actions that may happen with loan application. A few sentences about permission system. We have a separate video on how roles and permission system works in our quick admin panel. But the basics of that is loan application create, for example, is a permission name and it's stored in the database like this. So we have loan application create and then we have permission role who has access to that. So in our case, permission ID 24 and only 
role ID with ID2 can actually create the application, which is user. Even not admin can create the application. So these are roles and permissions by default, but we may add more conditions like this. In this case, loan application edit, and also check a few additional things. Next topic, how do we send the emails? And for that, we use observers. So in loan application model, there's a observer class attached in booted method, and that observer class contains a few things. On creating the application, we assign the default status, and then when it's created, we send a notification to admin, or in fact to all admins actually. The notification class is a simple mail message with route to the loan applications show. And then whenever it's updated, we're back to the observer class updated. And then we check what is the status and who should receive the notification, whether it's analyst or it's CFO or it's user himself, which is created by. And there are a lot more details in the code, but for that I will leave you to check them out in the GitHub. The repository will be free on GitHub as usual. And if you have any comments, you can create issues on GitHub or comment below this video. What did we miss? What could be done better? Or maybe you have questions about business process management in general or quick admin panel, whatever. Shoot in the comments. And I hope that demo video, demo project is useful. If you have any more ideas for more demo projects, also add the comment below. And if you want to support this channel, please try our quick admin panel. You've seen that in action now. And maybe you will want to use it for your projects. And see you guys in other videos.